guys and girls, in this video, we're going to take a look at the best zoom cameras. I've made my research and this list reflects my personal opinion, and I've listed products based on quality, durability, price, and more. I've included options for every type of consumer, so if you're looking for an entry-level option or the best product money can buy, we may have the product for you in this list. If you want more information and updated pricing on the products mentioned, be sure to check the links in the description down below. The products mentioned are in no exact order, so be sure to stay to the end so you don't miss anything. Also, if you want a chance to win one of the zoom cameras in the video, just subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bell, and leave a comment with a hidden word in the video. We will pick a winner and notify him when we reach 5,000 likes. Okay, so without further ado, this is our pick of the best zoom cameras on the market right now. Coming at number 10, we've got the Panasonic Lumix FZ300 FZ330. When it comes to choosing cameras for a photography project, price readily comes to mind. If your main concern is the state of your finances, then it's time to take a look at a great value option from Panasonic. With a 25 to 600 millimeter zoom lens, What's impressive is an f2.8 constant aperture throughout the range, which is particularly useful at the longer end of this zoom range. Top that off with a splash-resistant body, a very angled touchscreen, and a decent electronic viewfinder, and you've got all the makings of a great all-rounder. Impressively, for an older model too, it even shoots 4K too. Number 9. Panasonic Lumix FZ2000 FC2500 Okay, let's say your budget doesn't stretch to the level of a Sony Cybershot RX10 IV, but you still want something of top quality, flexibility, and with great image quality. The Panasonic Lumix FZ2000 is an excellent choice, coming with a 1-inch sensor and zooming out of about 480mm equivalent which is relatively short for a bridge camera. There's no doubt there's still plenty for the most extreme everyday use. We'd certainly sacrifice a little zoom range for better and faster optics, and we love the FZ2000 because it delivers both image quality and zoom range. If you're looking for something a bit cheaper, the older FZ1002 in this video is also worth a look as its successor. Coming in number 8, Nikon Coolpix B600. The Nikon Coolpix B600 might not be the flashiest super zoom camera on the market, but it's a solid choice if you're on a budget. With a stratospheric 60x built-in lens with optical image stabilization, the Nikon B600 is quite versatile, and even if the image quality degrades a bit, the further it zooms out. Overall, it's a fine camera for vacation photos and the B600's relatively compact size means it's easy to travel with. It's also easy to use and comes with a built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth for wireless sharing of your photos. While there's no 4K video, it can capture 1080p HD. For still photography, the Nikon B600 can shoot up to 7.7 frames per second, so it's fast enough to capture most action. Best of all is the value. At just over $300, you won't find a camera with this many features at a lower price. Coming at number 7, Canon PowerShot G5X Mark II. The Canon G5X II has a shorter, faster lens than the RX107, giving the option of blurrier backgrounds and better image quality as the light level falls. The G5 X2 produces very good photos with good raw image quality and JPEGs with the kind of color one expects from Canon. Video quality is reasonable, though since it lacks a mic socket, the G7 X3 and RX107 are better choices for vlogging. The design of the camera is very good with a customizable clicky front control dial, dedicated exposure comp dial, flip-up touchscreen LCD, and handy EVF. It's responsive to use, and its interface is simple and focused. Number 6. Panasonic Lumix DMC ZS100 TZ100 So let's say you don't have $1,700 to spend on a long zoom camera, or just want something more portable, enter the Panasonic Lumix DMC ZS100. It has a 
20 megapixel one inch sensor, but trades zoom power for compactness. Its lens has an equivalent focal range of 25 to 250 millimeters, but it's a bit slower at f2.8 to 5.6, which makes it less competitive in terms of low light performance and depth of field control. JPEG quality isn't class leading due to too much noise reduction and a somewhat soft lens. The ZS100 has a responsive autofocus system, a 3 inch LCD with good touch functionality, and 6 frames per second burst shooting with continuous autofocus. The camera captures 4K video that looks pretty good, with a hybrid 5 axis stabilization feature available at 1080p and below. Overall, we like the ZS100 not because it's the best camera in its class, but because it strikes a great balance between size and focal range. Coming in number 5, Nikon Coolpix P950. The Nikon Coolpix P950 is a powerful, raw compatible super zoom compact camera. Built around a 24 to 2000 mm equivalent zoom lens, its sensor size is considerably smaller than most of the other cameras in this video. The P950 is a pleasure to use. Despite the massive lens, it handles like a mid-sized DSLR, with the main control dial on the upper right of the top plate, and a small sub-dial on the rear. You also have a side control wheel on the left of the lens barrel. The excellent EVF is supplemented by a perfectly usable tilting rear LCD. The Nikon Coolpix P950 gives you enough zoom range to capture everything from landscapes to the International Space Station. It's coupled with an image stabilization system so effective that you'll rarely need a tripod. Assuming you respect its image and video quality limitations, the P950 is a powerful tool. Coming at number 4, Nikon Coolpix P1000 when it comes to reaching for the moon and stars with one of the biggest optical zooms, Nikon Coolpix P1000 readily comes to mind. However, this comes with several unavoidable issues, which include the size and weight of the camera. Needing a tripod for anything over 2000 mm and rather poor battery life. However, for bragging rights alone, this camera knocks it out of the park, offering a 24 mm to 3000 mm equivalent zoom lens. Overall, the Nikon Coolpix P1000 offers a huge amount of reach for the price. Number 3. Panasonic Lumix FZ1002 The 20 megapixel Panasonic Lumix FZ1002 is one of those under the radar super zoom cameras that not a lot of people talk about, but is quite popular with the picture taking public, and it's easy to see why. With an excellent Leica branded 16 times optical zoom lens that's equivalent to a 25 to 400 mm range and effective 5 axis optical image stabilization for keeping your long shots sharp. The Panasonic FZ1002 might not offer the same astronomical zoom power as some competing models, but the quality is significantly better. Add in the fact that it uses a large 1 inch sensor which helps it in low light conditions and the FZ1002 will blow most compact cameras, not to mention your smartphone, out of the water. It also can shoot 4K video and has a mic input if you want to add better sound, plus the Panasonic VZ1002 can fire off 12 frames per second, so you'll be able to track and capture most sports. Coming at number 2, Canon PowerShot SX70HS. Canon's PowerShot SX70HS is what we'd consider a more conventional bridge camera than those we've talked about. That's because it uses a smaller 1 2.3 inch sensor, which gives you the advantage of a ginormous 65 times optical zoom range. You still get full manual control, along with other great features such as a fully articulated screen, a decent electronic viewfinder, and the ability to shoot in RAW format. Inbuilt Wi-Fi and NFC are another bonus. This is a classic all-rounder, which would suit those looking for something relatively small and light for trips such as safaris, where that big zoom comes into its own. Although shooting at the wide angle and low light are not this camera's forte, but there's good autofocus performance and speedy operation to compensate. Number 1. Sony Cybershot RX10 IV 
For those looking for a powerful all-in-one solution, you won't find anyone better than the RX10 IV. Featuring a hugely flexible 24 to 600 mm f2.4 4 zoom lens, the RX10 IV builds on the RX10 III with an overhauled AF system that now does justice to the rest of the camera. While the 1-inch 20.1 megapixel sensor is capable of achieving excellent levels of detail, it's quite bulky for a bridge camera and there's no getting away from the hefty price, but the RX10 IV is virtually in a league of its own and is perhaps even deserving of a better name than Bridge. The Cybershot RX10 IV is Sony's latest high-end bridge camera aimed at an enthusiast who wants an advanced all-in-one camera that doesn't compromise on performance. Packing in a long, fast zoom lens, large sensor, and performance that, on paper at least, would make some advanced DSLRs blush. Could this not be the ultimate bridge camera? That brings us to the end of our review and buyer's guide for the best zoom cameras. Hope to see you in the next video. Let us know in the comments what is your favorite one. And if you like this content, don't forget to subscribe and get notified when we launch new videos. Thanks for watching. Peace.